Houses for Healing. The name of the organization speaks for itself, ensuring that when people come to Abilene from out of town for medical treatments, they have a place to stay and heal and recover. Yes, so these tiny homes provide free, temporary housing and first started popping up a couple of years ago. But now this tiny endeavor has some big plans and is expanding so that each county in the big country has a tiny house all of its own. KTAB's Miriam Chamberlain has the story. When driving down Hickory Street, you may notice these little tiny houses. They're here to help. It's the best way that I can put it. They're called Houses for Healing. Yeah, and that's what it is. And Robert Soto from Ballinger, Texas, is finally going home after being in the hospital for the amputation of his leg. Everybody's telling me to get me a cushion for the wheelchair and get a cup holder and everything like that. I'm telling your people, I don't want to be in this thing as long as you longer than I have to. He had been staying in one of these houses for healing homes, and that's exactly what he did here, healed. It's been a blessing. I mean, I don't think I would have gotten where I'm at today if it wasn't for this place. There are four of these tiny houses for people like Soto, but the idea is to have a total of 20, one for each county in our area. As you can see, here are the four houses. Now there's clearly not enough room for 16 more. Now this is the only property that they had, but what they did have is faith and these oak trees. You see these trees provided shade for the house across the street and the man who lived there wondered if they were going to cut them down. Once he found out what they were actually doing, he decided to donate his own home, providing space for the remaining 16 houses. Um, we moved in here when I was 10 and this was the living room area. Now it's the chapel area. The son, Rich Kinney, says growing up, his mother and father told them about their plan for their home. And after their passing, him and his siblings decided to follow through in honor of them. It was very special. Uh, with four boys, when we first moved into the house, the first thing my dad did was board up this window and board up that door over there so <laughs> all of us couldn't escape and stuff. So, uh, so we've opened everything back up now, doors, windows, and it's just great. And President Brian Macy says they're grateful for what the Kinney family did as now they can continue on with their vision. People that are staying with us are going through a really difficult time and uh, we want the church to, to be with them on the journey as they work to get well again as they fight for life and health. As for Soto, since he has had time to heal, he feels it's now time for someone else to come and stay. Here I am, I'm going home today, and hopefully his therapy will get better where I can get around more and I go back to work. In Abilene, what coverage you can count on? Miriam Chamberlain, KTAP News. He wants out of that wheelchair. Hey, he's got <laughs> goals, and we applaud him. Thank you, yeah, Miriam. If any of you, though, are interested in helping on that project by developing that land, whether it be with water, sewer, electri electricity services, well, you can visit our website. That's at bigcountryhomepage.com. Homes of Healing. They are, uh, and they provide that. Very nice.